Hugh Jackman. Do you smell that? It smells like Oster bait. <laughs> 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 Good joke, right? Hello, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I am Andrew Hayes. Andrew Hayes. You should go check out his movie review channel as soon as you can. Actually, just don't watch this video. Just subscribe to me. Shut up. <laughs> I love this guy. He's a funny man. He's a handsome man. Listen. I am pretty handsome. Andrew, cut the cockiness, would you? <laughs> Who's your favorite superhero? I don't know. Maybe that guy. Oh. Forehead man. <laughs> Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit me. Like, it hit me a lot later than I think. <laughs> Shut up. Hugh Jackman, I know you love the hell out of this guy. He's yeah. starring in this... Uh, he might be my real dad. I don't know. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> starring in this Jason... What does that mean? I don't know. Starring in this Jason Reitman movie. The front runner. You know who really requested this? Patron of the day shout out. Niraj Krishnan. You like our Patreon, right? He's yeah. a patron. I'm a patron, so I gotta like it. Full length TV show reactions. Weekly Q&A. Niraj Krishnan is always requesting the best of the best of the best kind of trailers out there. He is one handsome devil, and if there was anyone for a front runner for best patron eject, <laughs> it would be, uh, um... Matt Beer. Matt Beer. It's Matt Beer. None of you. Not you, Niraj. Not you, Andrew. Matt Beer, who hasn't been a patron eject for a while. So screw you, Matt Beer. Niraj and Andrew, who are the best. I'm still your friend, Matt. Sorry, sorry for the, the weird shout out, Niraj. You deserve better. <laughs> we all do. Oh. The youngest candidate, Park, spoke at full campaign track. The clear front runner. So start with the uh, shoulder in a little. My name's Gary Harden. I'm running for president. Ah. I don't know who that is. I want you to think about the opportunity that we have right here, right now. What? I've never known a guy more talented at untangling politics so that anyone can understand. It is a gift. And he wants to share that. And all anybody wants is for him to take a stupid photo. He will never understand that. <laughs> Gary Hart is the man to beat in 88. If we hold ourselves to those highest standards, then the voters cannot do otherwise. Senator, I want to ask you some questions about the woman at your townhouse. Can you tell us how Bill you know Burr. her? Bill Burr! You can't be serious. No one is staying in my home. There's no need for that. Uh, I, I am serious, sir. Oh, We can't hide from this. The cameras go everywhere. It's up to us to hold these guys accountable. Just because some other paper used gossip as front page news, I mean, that doesn't mean we have it to. It does. It does now. Not for Molina. He is a man with power, and that takes certain responsibility. We need to say something. It's nobody's business. None of it is. Okay, but we're not talking about that. You're talking about how you get through today. This campaign is about the future, not rumors, not sleaze, and I care about the sanctity of this process, whether you do or do not. Whoa. Go on, Gary. Say it. There's going to be a story tomorrow about me. Oh. <laughs> Look at that poster. That's a, oh. that's a cool photo. Oh, damn. Wow, I don't know this story at Neither all. Neither do I, and obviously, yeah, I want to know more because, I mean, it's... But seems... it'll spoil the movie if you learn the I mean, no, story. I'm <laughs> stop talking about watching the movie. Like, it yeah. makes me intrigued from the title, from yeah. what the trailer seemed like. This guy was going to be the president of the United States. But then personal life stuff got in the way. Yeah. Which is a, a real thing that and just I, and keeps I never occurring. And I never even heard of this guy. I'm going to be 100% honest. Like, yeah, I've never heard of him. I never heard of this guy. Something like this should be more well known. Yeah. Because it seems like a, something like someone was going to be president, something like this kind of scandalous happened. Well, the tagline is Gary Hart was going to be president, said he changed American politics forever. It makes me think about how when I would hear about stuff of like Kennedy's being involved with like Marilyn Monroe or whatever, yeah. how that 
didn't really seem to have an effect on their political yeah. career. It seems like around the, from what the movie's communicating to me, and I could be very wrong and sound very stupid right now, but from what the trailer's communicating to me, this was a very important election because this movie will represent how your personal life, I mean, he's like going off about like, this campaign is about the future, not rumors, not sleaze, and I care about the sanctity of this process, whether you do or do not, is what affected him becoming president. Yeah. His personal life stuff is the thing that affected him becoming president, not really his political views and the betterment of the nation. I always associated that it always did play a factor, Yeah, but it seems like they're saying this specific election was when it really yeah. became a factor. I mean, I don't even really know who was president or who became president instead of him. Yeah. It was 1988, I believe it said. I'm yeah. not like too familiar on who was president. Wasn't that Bush? It might have been. Before we sound dumb, 1988. President. Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Yeah, it was Ronald, Ronald Reagan, not Bush. <laughs> Ronald <laughs> well, Reagan was president. I've always been a fan of Ronald Reagan. You? Yeah. You've always been a fan? What do you mean you're a fan of Ronald Reagan? I've always liked him. Why? I don't know. <laughs> what do you like him? I'm not saying there's anything else. It seems like we shouldn't like Ronald Reagan. I'm he always seems like a, a cool guy. <laughs> You don't know anything about like his politics or anything. Nah, nah, actually, he was just a cool dude in my mind. Nah, I went to a, uh, back in the day. I went to like his museum. Or oh whatever. yeah, so do we. Yeah. That's where I learned if a woman is walking down the stairs, you should walk in front of her, and if she's walking up the stairs, you should walk behind her in case she falls in either one. That's what I remember from the Ronald Reagan I, Museum. I remember being on his airplane. You were on the actual Reagan airplane. I think so. In I mean, sky. it could have been fake. Not We're getting in... off topic here, okay. Andrew. Yeah. I'm always down for Hugh Jackman. Uh, Hugh Jackman. I'm always... Hugh Jackman's a great guy. I'm always down for a Hugh Jackman Oscar consideration. Yeah. Even though, you know, he should have got... Some... probably won't get okay. no yeah, Hugh no, Jackman's I, career. Yeah. I go, oh, man, he's totally going to get Oscar consideration in the la <laughs> last year with uh, The Greatest Showman. And now nah, that didn't really work no, out I... so well. But, you know, there's always the front runner, which may be a front runner for the Oscars. <laughs> This seems like the kind of movie you would get a nomination for. This is also more like the Jason Reitman films. I per I know a lot of people prefer like the Tullys and the Junos, but I personally like the more political based ones that he does. Something like Thank You for Smoking, something like Up in the Air. Yeah, Men, Women, and Children. Yeah, men, you know stuff like Men, Women, and Children. <laughs> My personal favorite being the two episodes of The Office that he did. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's a, a huge Stack. cast in here. Vera Farmiga, who, who was in Up in the Air as well. Yeah, great in um, Conjuring. I mean, too. you got Sarah. Yeah, none out this weekend. Yeah. J.K. Simmons looks great. You got Alfred Alpha Molina. Molina. Bill, Bill Burr's in here. Great cast. Sarah Kevin Paxton. Pollock. There's a huge cast in here. Mike, Mike Judge. Judge himself. It seemed to have like a lot of comedic actors for this film that is a very much not a comedy at all. This seems like it could be an important film. I wonder how much of this is actually going to be fact. You know, there's always that thing when these biopics come out of how much is real and how much isn't. Yeah. Something definitely I'm very interested in. It's funny to me is that it's based in 88 but it's shot like a 70s movie. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The directing style definitely. I mean, feels that I way. mean, it does seem like this year is going to be tough, close, like race for best actor. But who knows? Maybe, maybe Hugh Jackman could squeeze something. Yeah, man, he's great at playing Americans. Dude should yeah. never play Australia. Yeah. <laughs> he's so good at playing he, Americans. He's great at playing <laughs> Americans and Canadians. Yeah, there you go. But even as a Canadian, he's doing an American accent. Yeah. <laughs> what I love too about Hugh Jackman's career, especially after the success of The Greatest Showman, because that made me really happy for him. Yeah. It was that thing of, oh, now he's done being Wolverine. Will he ever have another success? So after The Greatest Showman, you're like, oh yeah, this guy will be just fine. Yeah, you, know, you don't have to worry about him not having a career. Even seeing this, I'm not going, oh, it's freaking Wolverine, you know? Like, I am. Uh, Oh, you are? You're there? <laughs> I'm not. I'm there wanting to see this portrayal. This yeah, character. no, I, I definitely, I mean, Hugh Jackman is, is personally my favorite actor, so I just want to see as much of him, him as I can. Yeah. No matter what the role is. I'm excited for this movie, man. Just, this looks like an important film. Just I hope it doesn't suck. I don't think it will. <laughs> it looks all right. Jason Reitman, every once in a while, doesn't do a great film, but I think majority of the Reitman credentials are pretty solid films. Yeah, yeah as yeah. long as they're above 50. Yeah, that's good. There you go. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Who do you think should be the next president? Not Gary Hart, apparently. No. The Rock, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> you guys can subscribe to the Reject Nation. Click that notification bell because subscribe buttons are kind of pointless. And you can check us out on Patreon where we got full-length TV show reactions and weekly Q&As. More importantly, follow Andrew the Hayes on his YouTube channel, Andrew Hayes. 
It's worth your time, worth my time, not worth his time. Yeah. Go check it out. <laughs>